Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ultra Ben on night our ultimate hardcore survival UHC permanent night and stuff. As we left off, I had a tree farm starting to go, and now it's working. I have a lot of space dug out here, and the tree grows pretty quickly. Um, why is this? Oh, hold on, change my controls. There we go. I changed it to a button on my mouse because uh, when I play Mind Strike on my Plex. Um, I change it to a button on my mouse so I can get to my knife easily, but that's off topic. So right now I'm playing, you know, knight and just like grinding um, apples and saplings and stuff. As you can see, I have a lot of resources. I did a little bit of stuff after the last episode. I was on for like another 20 minutes just harvesting things like this, but I have a lot of resources. However... Um, I'm going to have to get some coal and some supplies together because I really want to go up to the surface and light like a crap load of uh, land up. And once I do that, I should be uh, free to go to explore up there a little bit more. Okay, maybe not explore, but like, you know, use the land a little um, without monsters, uh, you know, stuffing bows up my face. That's 16. There we go. Just smelt those. Um, let's check on the tree. Because I'm going to get charcoal to make a, like a stack of torches. And I'll just use all of my torches to light up above ground. And then once above ground is lit, I can start like, you know, maybe building some stuff up there. And I can go outside more freely. And that's going to be really nice. Because right now I'm in like a little hermit underground here for like the rest of my days. Whoops, that's my bread. Okay. Um, so if you haven't watched my night series yet, basically what it is, is there are a couple game rules set, and, wait, okay, those game rules are the UA, the universal UHE game rule, which is natural regeneration, that is at the faults, there is random tick speed, that is at like 500, I think, for me, and permanent night, which is do daylight cycle. I think that's what that game rule is. Um, so all three of those game rules together really make the gameplay more interesting by far. So yeah, you, you guys should try it. It's definitely worth hardcoreness and stuff. I'm just gonna wait for all my torches to come through here. Alright, we're good. Let's do this. Okay. See, this is the hardest part. Actually getting up the guts to get out here. Crap, I just lagged a little bit. That's not good. Alright. Gotta stay away from the mobs. Just keep the torches going all over here. Make sure nothing gets me. If Even if I get hit, I just have to find some gold and I can make a bunch of golden apples. Because I have a bunch of apples from my tree farming. Um... There are spiders and stuff. Crap, that's a skeleton. That's a skeleton. Please don't shoot me. I think I'm just gonna go back under now. Quite a scary world we have out there. I'm not really not done though. I'm gonna keep lighting it up out there. Um. Hi. Come, yeah, come down here so I can just beat the crap out of you. There's gonna be so many zombies coming after me though. Yeah. Uh, my mine actually finished that. I don't know if I actually mentioned that in the last episode. I don't think I even had it done in the last episode. I don't really know though. But that's finished, so now I can like mine for diamonds and gold. Gold is definitely... I need gold very desperately. So I should probably go mining and stuff. Uh, this episode is going to be a wee bit longer than your uh, average episode. Because of stuff. Yeah, I'm very specific right now, I know. But this episode's gonna be longer because it's a Saturday episode, and Saturday episodes are, like, universally awesome, and there's coal that I passed. Why did I not mine this coal in the first place when I made the mine? I worry about myself sometimes for not mining coal, because it's a lot better than making charcoal and wasting my precious wood. I'm so spoiled in this UHC. I have, like, that... You know, the random tick generation 
whatever that game rule is, makes it so I can grow food really quickly. And I have so much food and trees and stuff from it. Really nice game rule. Total luxury. Alright, we're going down into the mine. So I can... Ooh, wait! I'm an idiot. Oh, I remember when I made this mine, I was like, oh, there's gold. I'm going to wait until I'm on camera so I can mine this so people don't think I'm cheating. That's two pieces. Two pieces of gold. Oh, wait, no, three. Three pieces of gold, baby. Oh, bye. That is terrific. That's not really that good. Honestly, like, I expect four. Oh, that's gravel. I'm an idiot. I should probably get that with my shovel, not my pickaxe. But more gold was going to be... It's, it's... I... Yeah. Three gold is really not that much, obviously. I need eight for one golden apple. And when I make that golden apple, I'm going to eat it on the spot because my health could be better right now. Because it's kind of low, actually. Okay. So I'm going to have your average standard tunnel down here that goes over, you know, and, you know, strip, uh, strip mining. That's what's going to be down here. Um, wait, there we go. So, I'm not going to do too much mining on camera, because, you know, probably kind of boring, obviously. But I do need to do some mining, like right now. Um, cause I don't really play on this world except when I'm recording it. Mining can be the object, uh, exception, I guess. I almost said objection, but that would have been bad vocab. Ooh, water. That means there's a... Ooh boy, that's a lot of ores. Not really, but it's ores. Watch there be like a skeleton that just like decides to fall on me for fun. Please don't. Please do not fall on me, skeleton. Oh boy. Okay, we are good. Good in the hood. What about up here, though? Oh, boy. There- oh, oh, that scared me. That was a bat, and I thought it was, like, you know, something that can actually hurt me. So, good thing it wasn't. I'm just gonna grab the iron, because I need it to make more pickaxes and stuff like that. Because I don't want stone pickaxes, or wooden pickaxes, I want iron pickaxes. Definitely something that- I should have die. Sorry, I would spare the bat guys, but like the bat, it's not. He's not helping. So, if you're not gonna help, get out of the kitchen. Even though Minecraft is not a kitchen at all. Yeah. So that therefore that quote is not very relevant. At the, well, never mind. I'm gonna get some more stuffs here. Torch. Get me out of here. Okay. Cole. So this episode, um, all my episodes are going to be me trying to thrive as an individual, obviously, in this world. Dang it, and I just... Okay, uh, how about we go back down to headquarters here? Well, okay, don't, don't fall in the hole. Um, good thing I didn't take any damage there, that would have sucked. Right about here? Where... Yes, I know what's in here somewhere. My mine is... Oh boy. Wait, how did I even get in here? So here is this, right? This is the, um... Ravine. This is my mine. Okay, I see it now. So, I'm just gonna go back up. I could get a furnace and a chest down here. It's not really worth my trouble right now, though. Well, it would be worth it eventually, but... I think I'm just gonna go back up. I like how the ladders are like 3D with spacks. It's awesome. The reason I use a texture pack for the uh, this series is because it makes it a little bit more confusing. And I'm going to get like really used to using spacks, which is good because spacks is like a nice uh, resource pack and it's going to be good to get used to it if I ever use it in the future. Okay, so... Uh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to make a pick. Okay, make a pickaxe. There we go. Yay. Also, when I say a little bit longer, um, I, for the episode, like, I said that a little earlier, like, ten minutes ago, not even ten minutes ago, like, five minutes ago, 
Um, I usually mean like if my average episode is like a 25 minute episode, that means this one's going to be like a 30, maybe a 30 minute episode, something like that. There are way too many zombies out here, I can't do this. Hi guys, do you want to come in here and I can just slap you and you will all die? I know it sounds very fun. Let's try to get them all in here. Come on. Where are they? I can hear them. Got to get them in here. Guys, can you can you consider joining my hole? Maybe that will do it. Hello. I don't want to do this. Hi there, buddy. Can you just come in here? Okay, you're in. Don't touch me. Thank you. I'll get your zombie brain. Uh, basically what SPAC does is it takes zombie, zombie flesh, you know, or rotten flesh, and it changes it to zombie brains. Which is actually cool that they do that. Okay, put that right there. Take the sticks and stuff. Let me just harvest all my crops. Because I'm going to need a lot of bread. Eventually, I'm going to have like prop 4 diamond armor if I can manage to live that long. And I am going to live that long because I have, you know, I, I should defeat the Ender Dragon too. That might be good. But that would mean that the Enderman would hit me and stuff. So that wouldn't, I don't know. We'll see. Will I defeat the Ender Dragon? Who knows? Haha, <laughs> ha, we got like two zombies in here. Three now. Oh boy. It's like a little a mini XP farm. Die, suckers. Okay, no, no more zombies. That's good. Very good. That means I can light up a lot more territory. And there's like no mobs right now, which is very nice. Light it up. I need to go across the river and light stuff up as well. Um. Okay. Let's do here. Here. I should probably get more torches soon. Yeah. Just gotta do that. Make sure that the entire edge of the beach right here is like very well lit up. No! Don't hit me! For a second I thought he was going to manage to hit me there, but he didn't. Good. Don't want to lose any more health. I already lost two and a half hearts. Unacceptable. Uh, let's make a, like, a little bridge across the river. Make sure there's no mobs trying to kill me right now. I think I'm good. Then just light up the entire edge of the river. So mobs don't spawn like right here and then, you know, swim across to kill me. Eventually I will have at least 10 chunks lit up around my base so I won't be afraid to, you know, go outside and play. If I may. There's a cow. Sup cow. Cows might be good. Actually, I should get some animals down there because I have a lot of wheat. Just don't have any animals. So I should do that. Okay, at least I got a little bit more lit up, so now I can like come up to the surface without being scared of there being a crap load of mobs that want to kill me. Um, voice crack, that's awkward. It's, all this stuff is done smelting, that's good. Put that one in there. Um, let's make some more torches. Like a boss. Take the stick. Just doing like ultimate inventory slash chest management. But this series, I want it to go far. But the thing is, killing Endermen to get Ender Pearls to kill the Ender Dragon, Endermen are already dangerous enough, but when they hit me, I'm not going to reach in. Which is quite exciting, isn't it? No, not really, because that's going to suck. Let's see if this tree can grow within the next like 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, no, one. Yeah, no, didn't do it. When I come back down, watch, it's gonna grow. Like, the second I go back down. Don't die. Wait, can I take damage from that, you think? No. So what if, can I take damage from this? Okay, I think I'm good. Still hasn't grown. I shouldn't be surprised, because it knows what I'm thinking. See, the tree... Trees know what you're thinking, guys. They, they like, predict your thoughts. It's really creepy. No, I'm just kidding. They can actually do that. Okay. 
The thing is, I could make an enchantment table, but one, I need obsidian and diamonds, and I also need leather to make the books. But I don't have cows, so cows... Yeah, I need to get some in here. Seriously. Uh, there's one cow at the edge over here. I can grab him. Um, where... I know there's like two skeletons over here. Oh, there's two cows. There's like three cows. Oh, I want these guys so bad. Can I get them in my base, you think? Like, if I could do that, I would be so set. Um, holy cow. Just kidding. That was, that was awful. Sarcasm. It, stuff. Okay, let's make a cow farm. See, this area I dug out first, like, some more double chests. Um, cows. Where did, where should I put the cows? Maybe the cow should, like, go in here somewhere. Um, the tree farm is right there. Wait, if I dig out that way... Hmm. How about under here? Let's do it on this side. That way, I don't, like, branch out into the tree farm area. So we'll have cows, like, in here. And stuff. Have, like, a mini cow pit, maybe. Not, like, the fenced-in type of thing, but, like, a mini cow pit. But the cows are going to be noisy from up here, so I'll probably just turn my friendly creatures down, like, a lot. So... Yeah, I'm not going to dig too much of a hole here, but it has to be big enough to have cows. For a second, I, I was thinking that don't cows need grass? And I was like, no, that's sheep, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, the stuff that goes on in my head. I'm right, though. Like, sheep, I whenever I get, like, a cow pit, I'm like, oh, I probably need grass in here, right? But then I'm like, no, that sheep, sheep need grass to make wool. So, I'll have cows in here, and that's going to be extremely useful. Now, I just need to grab the cows without dying from mobs or anything. Get two pieces of wheat here. Alright, I know there's a zombie that was, like, right there. Yep, he's right there. Haha. Ha. Okay, who do we have? There's a skeleton. I don't really want to mess with him. He's kind of too close to... He's kind of close to my base for comfort. Okay. So there's cows. Are there any mobs nearby, you think? Oh, there's a skeleton. Okay. Hey, buddy. Can we be friends, maybe? Good, he doesn't see me. I can't really let mobs see me right now. I just gotta get these cows in my base. It's like number one concern without getting hit by mobs. I think I'm good, though. I think I'm, like, legitimately good unless a zombie, like, comes out of nowhere. Okay. Guys, this is my manhole. You will be treated as, uh, extremely passive guests. Heh <laughs> heh so you guys just come down here, be my beef treats. You just took damage. Isn't that nice, buddy? So just come on in. Enjoy the game. Make a bebe. Baby, bebe, whatever you want to call it. No, I can't let you escape. What do you think this is? Break all the floor under them. I'm going to go get a ladder or something. I think I have... Yes, a leftover ladder. Oh, boy. Get like four. Um, two? I don't know. Okay. Repopulation for the win. Cows are going to be so helpful. Just do that and I can get out. Cows can actually kind of climb ladders. It's kind of creepy. But they can if, like... You know what? Should I just give a demonstration here? Can I do that right now? Alright, cows. You want to climb the ladder. Well, they can't do it because the ladder is only one block up here. So that's why they can't do it. But I... I'm an idiot, and I tried to do a demonstration, which did not work. Okay, time to harvest crops, because now that I have cows, I'm going to need a lot of wheat. Leather and steak. I can stop living on bread and just focus on giving the wheat to the cows and out my stomach by making it into bread. Oh boy. It's like an ultimate level up right there. I might have to expand this, though. It's a little bit small. Hopefully you guys don't hear the cows, though, because I think I turned down my sound enough so you don't hear them. <laughs> it's at 1%. So, if you can hear it at all, then it should only be a little bit, unless I somehow messed up my sound horribly, and I hope I didn't. Oh, that tree just grew right in front of my face. I'll harvest you, son. All mine. Thank you. Die. Watch it grow, like, right there. 
Nope, it's not. Okay. Put stuff away. Seven apples. All being they are all waiting to be turned into golden apples. It seems that I was an idiot and I did not bar up my door here with a piece of cobblestone. That's not good because the monster could have just strolled in and been like, hey bro, what's up? But it didn't, so that's always a good thing. Die. Hi guys, I'm just gonna stroll right around you here to light up where you spawned. Hope you don't mind there's a skeleton. I'm gonna run from a skeleton. You can't shoot me. Don't even think about it. And he's right there. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, uh, can you... I want to kill skeletons for arrows. I don't really need bone meal because my stuff already goes fast enough as it is. No arrows, just got bones. That's nice. I don't think I'm ever going to need bone meal due to my awesome game rule. Um, once I get enough chunks lit up, uh, you know, on the tops, I'm going to have to start working on the caves in those chunks. Maybe I should make like a boundary of how much, uh, I'm putting stuff in the wrong chest here, that's awkward. I should make like a boundary point in how much land I really want to mark up with torches and stuff. No, uh-uh. Stay away from my body, don't touch me. That sounded weird. Okay. Hi, are you a witch? Is that a witch? Is that a witch? That's not a witch, is it? Oh, it's a villager zombie. I know what that is now. Yes. Because, uh, I did, like, a UHC li live stream like, a month ago, and there is like, a weird-looking character, and it was a witch, and I didn't know that, so I kind of got potioned, and it sucked. Um, yeah. That was annoying. But now I know what the witch looks like, so I'm prepared and trained in tactile, 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 tactical. I actually said it correctly. Tactical witch killing, or whatever you want to call it. I just avoided a bunch of mobs. I'm very proud of myself. Not really. Anyone could have done that. Now I'm just putting myself down. Don't make myself cry. Alright, now I'm just talking to myself in third person. That's awkward. Alright, let's make more stuff. By stuff, I mean bread. There we go. 23 bread. Should probably keep some wheat in my inventory just in case my cows want to breed at any point. Hasn't been five minutes, though, so... Harvest the tree for a little bit. Because trees are good for stuff. Sapling. Don't grow on my face and suffocate me, please. Because I ha there's been times where trees have like literally grown in my face, and they suffocated me a little bit. And I don't want to, you know, that. if that happens, I'm going to lose some health, and then I'm going to get mad at the tree. I will probably burn the tree. I should probably get some flint and steel for that. I don't have... Wait, flint and steel. Just waste a piece of iron here. If the tree suffocates me, I will burn it on the spot. I pledge my life on that. Breed. Yay, now we have four cows. Wait, now we have four cows. Okay. Don't suffocate me, ever, or I will just burn you. Let's go down into the mine. Um, usually I have like a pool of water or something on the bottom of my mine, so I can just fall into it. But right now, I don't, because I can't take that risk of dying at all. Because dying would really suck. I'm not going to take any risk of dying. At all. You know, even though going above ground is a slight risk of dying, fighting an enderman kind of increases that risk. But, you know, there's always a risk of dying in Minecraft. Except right now. But that's why I blocked up that area, so that if a mob just decides to pop in, can't really kill me. Can I just do this? Wait. Come on, I can't reach the block. I can't. There we go. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm playing it safe, so no mob can really get me from over there. Is that lava? No, I'm just hallucinating. I thought I heard lava for a second, but that, that wouldn't make sense because I'm at layer 13. And layer 11 is the lava layer. I'm trying to break stone with a shovel. That's awkward. Okay. Getting like, and just like granite here. That's cool think, even though I'm probably never going to use it, ever, diorite too, there's all the ites, ites, and 
ites and stuff. Watch me find like eight diamonds, that would be so cool. Cause two of them would go for an enchantment table, three of them would be for a pick. And the other three could be for like a sword and that would leave one left over for like a shovel or something. No, I'm just kidding, I would save that diamond. Um But yeah. It's gonna mine all the coal. Fortune three, when I get an enchantment table, that is legitimately going to be the nicest enchantment ever. Hi, lava, cavern stuff. There's coal right there. I want that. It probably just fell in from when I was mining. Hi, no, no. You almost hit me. There's gold right there. Guys, you see that gold? You see that gold? You see that gold? You see that gold? You better see that gold. Okay. I see that gold. Just go for the gold. Go for the gold. Go for the gold, go for the gold. One, two, there's definitely more than eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's seven. I still, that means I have enough to make golden apple. First golden apple for the win. Yeah, boy. Because back at my base, I have three. So now I have plenty. And I can make golden apple. And that's going to be awesome. Awesome, horrific. Yeah. Okay, what's... No mobs, that's always a good thing. Get some of this coal. Or all of it, because there's not really that much anyway. Um, make sure that we're all clear up here. If there was a skeleton, I would literally just try to kill him if he wasn't looking at me. If he was looking at me, I would probably retreat and get shot. Let's not think about skeletons right now. Though. Those are scary things in UHC. Skeletons are, like, extremely scary. Quote unquote scary. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay. All good. Alright. I think I can leave the ravine now. Because there is also some good. There's other good stuff in here. Um. But I'm going to get that later. I'm really. I just want to get a golden apple right now. Because that's going to be sweet. Get out of here. Put that right there. Okay, so at least I accomplished something in today's episode. And accomplishments are nice and stuff. Oh, I'm so tired right now. I'm recording this on Friday night, because, you know, I need videos and stuff. And Friday nights and Saturday nights are pretty good times to record videos. But I'm tired, because it's, you know... I, I'm going to stay up, though, because, you know, it's... A, weekend stuff put the flint and steel back if a, the tree ever suff tries to suffocate me or even somewhat suffocates me I will burn it and then I'll just replant it obviously but gotta burn it first okay come here Cole get back in there um there we go I almost have enough gold just need two more and then I can make that awesome golden apple should I eat it? I think I might want to eat it because I'm already missing two and a half hearts. So I'll only be missing a half heart when I eat the apple. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Just one more. Yes. Here we go. First golden apple. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Okay. There's that regen right there. Sweet. I'm only missing a half heart. That's That feels better, actually. I feel like I'm more of a person. It boosts my morale as well as my, you know, my hearts. But morale is a good thing to boost. And there's another apple to replace the one I just used. Awesome. Cows, I know you want to breed by now, right? Has it been five minutes? You tell me. Cause I don't really know. I don't keep track of time very well. At the moment. Alright, you guys want to breed? I'm guessing you want to breed. Yay. Soon I'm going to be eating off of steak. That might take a while though. So, don't get your hopes up guys. Not yet anyway. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so for the night, you know, permanent night, for the permanent night, and for tonight of recording this, I am going to do one final run of lighting stuff up. 
because I feel better about myself seeing that I regen a little bit and I also have some absorption for like another 20 seconds so if anything tries to hit me I will be ready temporarily sup spidey you want to get wrecked? I know you want to get wrecked thank you for getting wrecked light all this stuff up have like loads of land up here to work with hopefully I will start doing more things above ground now like I really want to don't get me wrong, I'm not just like trying to be a freaking hermit by living underground for this long. But I just have to actually do some stuff up here and not be scared of the the world. Now what would be cool is if I found like a desert temple and I looted that. That would be awesome. Um, you know, if I did like an exploration episode where I basically YOLO'd and just explored, even though it's nighttime and I would I might get attacked like this. Oh boy. Are they going to shoot me? They can't shoot me. They can't shoot me. Absorption is gone. So now, you know, they're actually going to do damage, so I need to get back underground. No, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. Eat the food. Okay, I think we're set for today. I'm tired. I'm going to have to... Go get a drink and get ready for another round of recording, but something else, not this. Um, because this might be getting a little bit repetitive, so I'm gonna upload this on a different day, and, you know, this will come, this will come after a different video. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this, um, you know, I, I know I got something done because I got a golden apple, so that was good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.